Hello friends. Today we shall discuss benefits and costs of a highway project. This is an important aspect in economic evaluation of highway projects, particularly when more than one alternative is available. In highway economic analysis, the total transportation cost composed of cost of construction of the facility and periodic cost of maintaining the facility over its design life. And the third is road user cost. Now these first two, first two components here, cost of construction of the facility and cost of maintaining the facility over its design life, they are collectively known as highway cost. This road user cost has three components, vehicle operating cost, time cost and accident cost. This cost of construction of the facility, it also have several components like survey, investigation and design cost, land acquisition cost, construction cost, physical contingencies for unforeseen items and unexpected increase in the cost, supervision, quality control and administration charges. And similarly, the cost of maintenance is also composed of several components. Ordinary repairs such as patch repair, pothole filling, dressing, earthwork, etc. Periodic repairs such as renewals and resurfacing. Special or emergent repairs which are at times required during its design life. Operational expenses such as traffic signals, traffic aid post, lighting, policing, etc. and supervision and administration charges. So these are the different components of cost of maintenance. In the case of highway construction and operation, the time period is generally large and therefore it is necessary to distribute this cost year wise. For example, if the cost of project is estimated to be 500 crores or let us say 5 billion rupees and it is to be spent in 4 years then it is necessary to break down this total amount in four years. For, say for example like this, that in the first year you will be spending 50 crore, in the second year 100 crore, in third year 150 crore and the last one year 200 crore and that sum is 500 crore. It is important to note here that the value of money changes with the time and for that you can watch my video on time value of money to understand how this 500 crores which is which is to be spent on the project initially will change with time. What will be the value of this 500 crore after one year, two years, three years or four years. Same is the case with maintenance cost. If the project period is let us say 20 years, then allocate the money for each year depending upon the requirement. After construction period is over, initial 4 years, then the 5th year, you need let us say 50 lakh of rupees to maintain the road in good condition. In the 6th year also, another 50 lakhs, in 7th year also, another 50 lakhs and in 9th year, you will require a major maintenance of the road and therefore, you allocate 2 crores or 200 lakhs of rupees for 9th year and then this cycle will be repeated for remaining period of the time. Next is benefits accruing from a highway construction project. Benefits from a highway project are generally difficult to quantify. It is because these benefits are varied in nature. Some are direct and some are indirect. Direct benefits include reduced vehicle operating cost, saving in travel time, traction in air pollution and reduced noise level. Out of these, vehicle operating cost is relatively easy to estimate, but value of passenger time saving, value of reduced air pollution or noise pollution are difficult to quantify. Three types of traffic get benefited due to a highway project. Normal traffic, Normal traffic is the traffic which would have developed on the existing facility with or without improvement. Diverted traffic, it is the traffic which is diverted on to or away from the facility once it is constructed. 
and induced traffic is the new traffic generated because of improved facility or because of a new highway broadly there are two types of benefits one is road user benefits another is societal benefits in the case of road user benefits it is vehicle operating cost saving saving in value of travel time saving in value of accident cost and saving in societal cost in the vehicle operating cost there are several components of vehicle operating cost like fuel lubricant tire spare parts maintenance depreciation and fixed costs such as insurance taxes interest on the loan which do not change with the type of highway or improved facility but the consumption of fuel consumption of lubricant tire spare parts will change but fixed cost are fixed then another one is value of travel time saving value of time of vehicle occupants and time value of goods in transit they are to be estimated the third one is value of saving in accident cost because it is expected that when you improve the facility the number of accidents will come down and therefore cost of fatality cost of injuries and cost of damage to property will reduce the fourth one is society cost that includes improvements in administration law and order and defense improvements in health and education improvements in agriculture industry trade and mining improvements in environmental standards as appreciation in value of land adjacent to roads and these are the most difficult to quantify and generally ignored in all projects in fact only direct road user benefits can be quantified in monetary terms irc sp 30 2019 also presents method to quantify only direct road user benefits and the most direct benefit is vehicle operating cost that includes vehicle factors roadway factors traffic factors environmental factors the research conducted so far in india has isolated the effect of these components on vehicle operating cost now vehicle factors include the age of the vehicle model and make engine capacity maintenance input etc similarly roadway factors include the type of highway whether it two lane single lane multi lane expressway national highway state highway roughness type of surface curvature gradient pavement width shoulder width and type of pavement also similarly traffic factors like speed traffic volume composition and congestion and environmental factors like altitude rainfall and temperature pavement width in the case of uh, roadway factors pavement width is considered 3.75 meter for single lane 5.5 meter for intermediate lane 7 meter for two lane and in multiples of 3.5 meter in case of multi multi lane highways roughness is measured by the british fifth wheel bump integrator in terms of millimeter per kilometer or it can also be expressed in terms of iri that is international road roughness index in meter per kilometer and there is mathematical equation which correlate roughness with iri speed depends upon the traffic flow and traffic composition and research conducted in india has enabled formulation of speed flow equations for different types of vehicles and for different categories of roads in irc sp 30 2019 speed flow equations are given for each category of the road, each category of the vehicle and for each type of highway and there are 153 equations given in the irc sp sp 30 but the basic form of equation is that the speed is related to traffic volume by a linear equation similarly voc equations are suggested in irc sp 30 for each component that is fuel lubricant tire spare parts etc for each type of vehicle and for different categories of vehicles and these can be used to determine the vehicle operating cost components in monetary terms travel time saving is generally relevant for passengers of car 
टू व्हीलर एंड बस द वैल्यू ऑफ ट्रेवल टाइम सेविंग इज गिवन इन दिस टेबल फॉर स्मॉल कार एंड फॉर मल्टी लेन कैरिज वे और एक्सप्रेस वे इट इज वन सेवेंटी एट पॉइंट फाइव रुपीज पर आवर फॉर टू लेन एंड फॉर सिंगल एंड इंटरमीडिएट लेन रोड फॉर बिग कार इट इज टू फिफ्टी एट ऑन मल्टी हाईवे एंड इट रिमेन सेम ऑन टू लेन एंड सिंगल लेन एज फॉर स्मॉल कार एंड सिमिलरली फॉर टू व्हीलर ऑर्डनरी बस एंड डिलक्स बस सो दीज दीज वैल्यूज कैन बी टेकन फ्रॉम दिस टेबल ऑक्यूपेंसी शुड बी फाउंड occupancy of a vehicle should be found from actual survey as far as possible in case this survey is not available or survey data is not available then average occupancy for different types of vehicles can be taken as default value given in irc 30 sp 30 2019 for small car 3.23 for big car 4.28 two wheeler 1.71 ordinary bus 30 and deluxe bus 40 but it may vary from region to region now it should also be possible to predict the reduction in accidents after road improvement accident cost to be considered in the economic evaluation is like this for each fatal accident a 13 lakh 25049 rupees for major injuries 4 lakh 32651 and for minor injury 46680 rupees With the vehicle damage due to accident is given in IRC code, and this is like this: for car forty thousand eighty-eight, two wheeler ten thousand one ninety-one, and so on. For bus, heavy heavy commercial vehicle and multi-axle commercial vehicles, these costs are given for vehicle damage. Now, all the benefits must be estimated in monetary terms and then compared with the cost of the project. and a project is economically viable if benefits exceed the cost so friends thank you very much for watching this video if you have any question you can write in the comment box